ride. Gotta try and find a Velt T100 at home myself. What are we doing here? I thought I'd buy you a drink. Dollywood. Two beers, Darla. Coming up, Megs. So this is your big hookup? A dive bar? Things aren't always what they appear. Downers look around. What do you see? People who have made questionable life choices. Look closer. safe haven. A place for off-worlders to hang out, have a drink, not feel so alone for a minute. So this is where you get all your information about the alien populace in National City. They also make a mean peach mojito. We moved on quick. That waitress, is she Rolticon? Yes, she is. I've read Rolticon can form telepathic connections by making physical contact with the dorsum of the tongue. How do you think she learned English? She's my ex. Oh, I don't strictly date aliens for the record, though. I do like them more than most humans. Why? I can relate to them, I guess. Growing up a non-white, non-straight girl in Blue Springs, Nebraska, <sighs> might as well have been from Mars. I was an outcast, and I felt like it. Our alien neighbors, they're no different. Most of them are hardworking immigrants or refugees just trying to get by. And they have to hide who they are in order to survive. I can sympathize with that. Who's your pretty friend, Maggie? Careful, she likes shooting aliens. Yeah, few of us deserve it. I need some info. We're looking for a Kryptonian. Fresh in town, about six feet, brown hair, gray eyes. You may have seen someone who fit that description. Get to the good stuff. The president's life is in danger. She's not my president. All right, easy. He seemed lost, confused. Do you know where he is or not? No. But he was asking about space vectors, star coordinates, deep space transmissions. Why? He was trying to send out a signal. What kind of signal? E.T. phone home. Excuse you. 